So elbow nodes allow you to manipulate the links between nodes to reduce visual clutter and kind of re reduce the amount of kind of overlapping that can sometimes happen in more complex networks. So there are different ways we can add elbows. Um, you can either right click on a link and choose add elbow. You can double click on a link to add an elbow in the middle. You can select a link and hit the E key to add an elbow or alternatively if you don't have any links selected and hit the E key it will create an elbow node which isn't connected to anything um, which you can move around because these elbow nodes are just items that exist in the scene so you can select them along with other nodes and move them around. So if you want to delete an elbow, just select it and hit delete and it'll be removed. Now when you're moving these elbows around if the um, link is curved as the angle becomes more acute and as soon as it gets to 90 degrees you can see the links actually become linear and then as it goes past that the curve comes back As well as being used to change the shape of a link, you can also use it to group links together to reduce visual clutter. So if you're going from a kind of a one to many link situation like this, where one channel is going into three other channels, you then end up with three links that fly across the network. So to reduce that, if I just select those three links and hit the E key, it creates the elbow. And you can push that to one side and reduce what's going on visually. So you can also drag from a link to an elbow. So for this channel here, instead of dragging all the way to there, I could just drag to the elbow like that. Um, and of course, there's nothing stopping me adding another elbow in there and linking to that. 